Hey, what's going on guys? Chris Chavez here with Fandroid.com. Uh, now, the internet has been going a little bit crazy with the announcement that Facebook was going to be updating their uh, Facebook application for Android. Now, normally that doesn't really make too many headlines uh, just because it's usually a f bunch of bug fixes that actually make a few more bugs and <laughs> it's always like a trade-off, I guess. Uh, so the Facebook app has always been getting um, a lot of flack just because it's so clunky and slow and hard to use and everyone just is kind of annoyed by it. Uh, t today's update actually, they have given the app a an overhaul of sorts. They've completely gone full Android. Now what that means is the old Facebook application was running on HTML5 uh, language code I guess you can call it, which isn't really, you know, optimized for Android. There's, uh, if you have some of the older Android devices, it's super taxing on those little skinny processors or what have you, and it just ran really, really slow. So it made a lot of people upset and angry. But now they've actually gone full Android, which means they're using native Android language, stuff that Android, you know, understands. And it's supposed to work. Everything's supposed to be a lot quicker and faster and nicer and easier to use. So I'm going to show you guys the old Facebook versus the new Facebook. Now, I'm uh, doing it on two devices of similar specs. This is the LG Optimus G on Sprint. It's got a quad-core processor, 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, fully ample, fully capable, and it's using the old version of Facebook. And then on the left here, I have the Samsung Galaxy Note 2, which has 2 gigabytes of RAM, uh, Samsung quad-core Exynos processor. And uh, yeah, these should be able to, you know, load Facebook just just evenly matched, I guess. So let's go ahead and open it. I'm gonna show you guys some of the new stuff that's been addressed. Oh, whoa, hey, what's up, girl? Okay, so the first thing is the news feed here. So I mean, there weren't really too many changes, but the news feed no longer you don't have to, you know, pull down on the pull to refresh little bar and. Um, to, to look or search for or hoping or wondering if there's a new story now it'll actually just pop up actually wait you might actually see it here at the top it'll just show uh, new stories new stories just automatically are displayed whenever you're looking at the news feed so just like you would on the web browser you don't have to click refresh every time you want to check to see you know if maybe someone posted something new on Facebook it just automatically pops up so the new Facebook auto refreshes or shows whenever somebody you know updates which is really really cool um even if they didn't the old way <laughs> so you can see there's no new no updates nobody's posted anything new so if i were to pull down on the old one and release you have this ugly blank loading screen can't do anything for the few seconds i'm actually on wi-fi so it's super quick but if you were on you know a 2g 3g connection you can understand how painful that would be just looking or staring at a blank screen the whole time. Uh, the new version, you just actually pull down on the refresh and everything's still here. You can kind of scroll around, do whatever, and it'll pull up new stories if there are some. So, oh, I don't know if you saw it, but there was a little pop-up there for new stories. So, really cool. The news feed, this is like, I mean, the most, Im most important area, I would say, because this is where you're going to be looking at everyone's posts and stalking and creeping on girls all day. So, um... That's been um, a lot quicker now, so it's cool. Looking at pictures and stuff, let me go to eBay here. Uh, the old way, you would click it, and you get a nice little blank loading screen there. And from here, if you want to comment, if you thumbs up, you can thumbs up, but if you want to comment, you would be presented with another loading screen. Again, super annoying and frustrating, especially if you're on a slower connection. Uh, essentially, this is all this really is, is just the, you can just go to mobilefacebook.com, m.facebook.com, and be presented with almost the exact same functionality. It loads just as quickly, so that, really frustrating. Um, on the new native or improved Facebook, if I click it here, uh, it's a lot quicker. As you can see, there was no loading, and to leave a comment is also just as quick. I click the comment button here pulls up a now a nice little pop-up for which it shows all of the comments and you can just go ahead and write a comment. Liking is also super easy. Uh, I don't want to like this because I don't want people that, well, whatever, just to show you guys, you know, you just click here to like, blink in the corner, little animation there, and then on the old way you would click up here to like. But if you're actually viewing the picture, it would show, yeah, a little thumbs up down here as well. Bink. So that's all there is to it. Swiping over. Still loads pretty much the same way. Uh, not, nothing really changed there. Uh, messages have actually changed. Let me show you guys that real quick. So again, pictures, everything loads up just a lot quicker now on the new improved version. If I click on my messages up here, 
Uh, you have a little pop-up which is just kind of very tiny and small and it's just like why 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 is that why is that happening why don't you just get load up the messages whatever oh you can see here news stories someone posted something new let's get this down for you uh click it on messages maybe i'll scoot this up like that wink on the new version do i not have messages what are you doing what's what's going on facebook can I look at my <laughs> messages? Okay, that was working earlier. My messages are broken. I can do it this way. There we go. They want me to install it. No, I don't want to install that. Um, but normally, it would be... Oh, there you go. Whoop! has a cool little opening animation, and it's basically this here, but just full screen. And you can see I have all my little messages here. Uh, everything else is really not too many other changes. Let me go to check on Amy Lynn's profile. This is uh, somebody I've been stalking for quite a while. Uh, view timeline. See, I actually pressed it on this one before this one, and this one loaded quicker. So you can see it's already it's already working there. Uh, you can't really scroll across there, can yeah? Here you can. And let me open up photos. Cause oh, Amy Lynn, the horrible and weird things I would I would do to you. Uh, let's check out uh, some of her pictures here. Everything else pretty much looks the same. Profile pictures. Loads up super quick. Her just chilling on a wall. And again, clicking on comment. Pull up a loading screen. New version. Comments are already here. And you can say whatever you want. Marry me! Yes. Yes, ma marry me. Amy Lynn, please. And that's pretty much it. So. That's just uh, a quick look at the new Facebook app for Android. You guys can see it is a lot more quicker and fullier, responsiver. <laughs> um, and uh, it should be just a lot more joy to you. So with that, thank you guys for watching my video. I'm Chris Chavez with Vandroid.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye.